I'm feeling pretty good right now because my feet are soaking in uh, hot water with some green tea. And we'll learn all about this concept and what we're doing uh, with Tea Sommelier. This is Kimiko Uryu. Great to have you here. The company's called Kimisha Tea. Thank you. So, uh, you know, we, we have so many wine sommeliers on the show, so I'm fascinated. Tea sommelier, very similar in terms of the industry? Yes, it's um, actually it's very similar to a wine sommelier. You learn about the different tea regions, how to cup tea. You do the same thing about the slurping, slurping and spitting. Um, uh, I select the teas from the different tea regions in, from different countries, from Japan, Korea, China. And you bring it in for Kimicha Tea, which is your company. Exactly. So what were you hoping to establish with this company? Because it goes far beyond just kind of Experience sipping a tea. <laughs> yeah, I want to um, create an experience. Um, I also want to show that uh, drinking tea can be easy. So I always try to find solutions for people. And to show that tea can be used also outside of the cup, like the tea bath. Like my green tea uh, <laughs> bath. Okay, so what have you done then? You've taken so a certain type of a green tea? Yeah, basically what I did is I took um, tea bags, like normal tea bags that you can get in every um, uh, tea store. I put some loose leaf green tea in there. It's a, actually a Korean one um, uh, called Chaksol. And I just made a knot and put it in a hot water. And what are the benefits for this? It's uh, relaxing, <laughs> so it's uh, really nice for pampering, but it also uh, shows, uh, like there's a Japanese study that shows that um, if you have eczema, that it can take away the itchiness. So it's relaxing, detoxifying, because um, green tea has a lot of antioxidants. So if someone actually, so for people who have eczema, mm -hmm. to actually, could they do a full bath? Yes. And, and literally put the green tea within the entire bath yes. and then soak in it? Yes, it's actually really, really relaxing. <laughs> you take a full bath uh, with green tea, or you can even put black tea, um, one that smells very nice, and then also the aroma of it is very relaxing. Well, this feels really good right now. I don't usually have my feet in hot water after <laughs> the show. Let, take us through some of the other products that you have here. Well, uh, one of my products, um, uh, actually, uh, the, my black tea won the category for best uh, tea in North America. That's, that's incredibly impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so I take a lot of time to, to select the teas. Um, this is a matcha, which is the green tea powder. It is uh, used in the Japanese tea ceremony. Nowadays, um, you also often use it for like a face mask. Uh, you can add, make a face mask with yogurt and green tea, or you can make smoothies with it. Uh, th there's a lot of um, fun stuff you can do. There's a lot of things that you can do, and I think for people who are learning, who are looking to learn more about it, there's actually a tea convention, right? Or there's a big event that's coming up in December. Yes, uh, on the first of December. It's uh, going to be uh, a show where there are going to be different uh, tea retailers, there are going to be Indian dancers, it's going to be all about culture, tea workshops, like tea and chocolate pairing, tea and cooking. So <laughs> it's, it's pretty much everything. Yeah. And there's really a history behind certain tea ceremonies and the way tea is presented. Like there's, a, there's quite a history behind it. Yeah, that's also the fun part why I started learning about tea. Um, it was actually a hobby at first is because it's endless, like the different cultures that uh, are so closely linked to drinking tea, like in Russia, in um, England, in Japan, every country has their own history, their own uh, um, habits. And then, so how did you then put together your black tea, which has won the awards, that, that you, you just send it in as to all of the different things that you use to put it together? Like, how does that happen? <laughs> it's actually a, a pure black tea. Um, it is the selection, like when you go to different tea farmers that you have the palette to select um, good teas and um, I handed in one tea and that one, so I was very, very excited about that. That's really, that's pretty, it's really cool. People can find your product where and be able to find different things that you can use. It's on uh, kimicha.com online. Um, I do drop-offs in the Byward market for people who don't want the shipping costs. Um, you can also find it in the Nordic Spa, um, the Farm Boy private label. They'll, they'll carry it. Yes. They're carrying it. Kimicha tea. Uh, it's an award-winning tea. You should keep that in mind. So uh, wonderful if you're looking to try something out. And keep in mind the Ottawa Tea Festival begins Ottawa, uh, December 1st and 2nd. And that's something that's going to be happening. I think that first night is actually at the Ottawa Convention Center. Mm -hmm. So uh, a big fun event, especially too if you have that passion, if you have that interest in tea. I'm just going to soak in here just a little bit longer. It feels really good.